of cool stuff today, huh? Makes me want to make some changes in my life. I think today's a good day to do it. Because today's a good day, and I'll tell you why. You ever wake up some mornings and your pants are just a little bit looser? Your coffee tastes just a little bit better? You just look around and you think to yourself, man, this is not my house. <laughs> Whose kids did I take to school today? I got an attitude problem. I need to change that. I don't like a lot of stuff. My least favorite phrase right now is you do the math. I hate that phrase. I asked a friend of mine the other day, he went on a date, I was like, how was that date with Karen? And he goes, took her to the Olive Garden, bought her a bottle of wine, you do the math. I was like, I asked you a question, and in return, you gave me a math assignment. I don't like guys named Drew, because I don't like names that are in the past tense. I don't like when people give me hypothetical situations. I hate those. The other day, somebody goes, okay, there's a fire at your house. What three items would you take with you? I'm like, I'm going to take a lot more than three items because I know when I'm starting the fire. Hello? I don't like when adults use childish words. That's one of my biggest bugaboos. I realize how stupid that joke is. <laughs> a lot of people present you with facts. Here's a fact. There's seven billion people on this planet. And if you laid them end to end going around the earth as many times as possible, most of them would drown. <laughs> Don't ever try to organize that. Speaking of global issues, can't we all agree that the African country most likely to wear penny loafers would have to be Chad? Making changes, I gotta, I gotta get in shape. I gotta get in shape. I was thinking about martial arts. Heard a commercial on the radio the other day and said, it has a, like a Japanese martial arts studio. It's really cool. At one point they say, you can take down someone three times your size. First, I thought that's awesome. Then I thought about it. And if I come across a man who is 18 feet, nine inches tall and weighs almost 800 pounds. We're not fighting. I'll do whatever that man wants. Something's working though. I was at the grocery store the other day. It's turning some ladies' heads. It's turning some men's heads too. That coin star is loud. I am seeing somebody new though and uh, which is great. Let me put it this way. If one man's trash is another man's treasure, I'm seeing this really white treasure girl. <laughs> she is super treasury. I'm looking for a job. I need a full-time job. Sam Adams has a contest. The brewer, you can be a brewer for a day, an actual contest. Told my friend about it. He's like, that's a cool job. You can get drunk at that job. I was like, I can get drunk at any job and keep it for one day. <laughs> I'm going to cut back on bad habits. You ever go out with your coworkers? It's always fun until the next day. One of them's always like, you were having fun last night, you know? I always say the same thing. I'm like, just get dressed and get out of here. <laughs> There's coffee downstairs. It's cool. This isn't my house. I don't have a cool car. Got a Ford Focus. Just heard the other day that Jeep owners, Jeep Wrangler owners, like the Jeep Jeep, you know, they have, they have a little hand signal they give to each other when they pass each other on the street. It's awesome. I remember Ford Focus owners, we have a gesture that we give it to each other when we pass on the street too. You just shrug your shoulders. You shout point A to point B.
Cars bother me. It's like I still don't know why we're using horsepower to determine how powerful the car is. Doesn't make any sense. Nobody knows how powerful one horse is, much less multiple horses, you know? Unless you're on a farm or something, you know? Let's say, for instance, that you show up at a party, a 2017 Ford Mustang Shelby GT, fiery candy apple red, 550 horsepower. It's pretty impressive. Now, let's say I show up at the same party on a 1986 Powell Peralta skateboard being pulled by 85 Appaloosas and Palominos. <laughs> You're gonna remember me. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. <laughs>